What's up? I'm Vin, and today I want to show how to prove that a quadrilateral is a square. So we're starting off with this quadrilateral here, and I'm going to go ahead and plot all these points first. So A is at negative 3, 2. So that's over here in quadrant 2. And then B is at 1, negative 2, and that's going to be over here in quadrant 4. And then we have C is at 5, 2. So we're going over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then up 2. So that's going to be over here. And then point D is at 1, 6. So we're going over 1, and we're going up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So here are the four points. And when we connect this, I'm already convinced that what we have here is a square, just the way this is taking shape. But remember, in math, if we were going to prove that something is a square, we have to be very thorough. So what we're going to do first is show that all four sides are equal in measure. And we're going to do that using the distance formula. So here's our work over here. First, we'll target side AB. And the distance formula, we're going to target the x coordinates first. So we're doing the difference of the x values. So we have negative 3 minus 1 squared plus, and now we're going to do the difference of the y value squared. So we have 2 minus negative 2, and that's being squared. And all this is under a square root. This is our distance formula. And when we simplify this, we have negative 4 squared, which is 16, plus we have 2 minus negative 2 is 4, and when we square that, that's also 16. So AB is going to be equal to the square root of 32, but we'll just simplify this. This is square root of 16 times square root 2, which simplifies to 4 square root 2, since 16 is a perfect square. So right now we have AB is, the length of AB is 4 square root 2 units. And next what we're going to do is we're going to target side BC. So we have to do this for all the sides. So we're going to look for BC. We're doing the square root of, and we're doing first the difference of the x value. So we're doing 1 minus 5, and that's being squared. And now we're going to do the difference of the y value. So we're doing negative 2 minus 2, and that's also being squared. But notice what we have under here is we have 16 plus 16 all over again. And we already did the simplification. The square root of 16 plus 16 simplifies to 4 square root 2. So this is a good sign that a, b, and b, c are equal in length. So now we're just going to move down the line. Next, we're going to target, we did a, b, b, c. Now we're going to do side c, d. And side c, d, we're going to target the x values first. So we have the square root of, and we have 5 minus 1 being squared under the square root. And then the y values, we're looking at 2 minus 6. So we have 2 minus 6, and that's being squared. But notice here, once again, we have square root of 16 plus 16. We have 4 squared plus negative 4 squared. So CD is equal to, and we'll just leave a little bit of space so I can write this neater. We have 4 square root 2. So notice I did this for 1, 2, 3 sides. I have to do this for just one more side. So now we have to target the last side, AD. So the length of AD, we're going to write over here, and we're looking at the x values first. So we're doing the square root of negative 3 minus 1, and that's being squared. And then plus, we'll make space, we do the difference of the y values for AD. So you have 2 minus 6, and that's being squared. And this simplifies, we have negative 4 squared plus negative 4 squared. So we're going to have 16 plus 16 under the square root, which tells us that AD is equal to 4 square root 2. But we have to be careful here. The fact that we showed that all four sides are equal in measure is only going to prove so far that this quadrilateral is a rhombus. So let's first say that ABCD is a rhombus because all four sides are equal in measure. So now that we've established that ABCD is a rhombus, the only thing we have to show extra to establish that this is also a square is we have to just prove that at least one pair of sides are perpendicular to each other and that one of the corners here is a right angle. So let's say we target these two sides over here. We want to show that AB is perpendicular to BC. Well, what we could do first here is we could find the slope of segment AB. So let's say over here we find the slope of segment AB and to do that, we're targeting the difference of the y values for AB. So we're doing 2 minus negative 2. And dividing by the difference of the x values, we have negative 3 minus 1. And this is going to work out to positive 4 over negative 4, which equals negative 1. And if we look at AB, you could see that this is going down 1 over 1, which should also convince you the slope is negative 1. And what we also want to look at next is we're looking at the slope of BC. So for BC, we're looking at the difference of the y value. So let's say we start here. We're doing 2 minus negative 2. 
and we're dividing by 5 minus 1. And this is going to work out to positive 4 over positive 4, which is positive 1. So the first thing that jumps out at me is that these slopes are opposite reciprocals of each other, which means that these two lines involved are perpendicular, which means that angle B is a right angle. So we're going to write out everything that we just found here. We're going to say that these two lines are perpendicular because their slopes are opposite reciprocals. Now from here we could establish that angle B is a right angle because perpendicular lines form right angles. So now we have enough information to complete this proof. We could say that quadrilateral ABCD is a square because a rhombus with one right angle is a square. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on proving a quadrilateral is a square. If you found this video to be helpful, please like and subscribe. It really helps me grow the channel. And if you've got any requests, just leave the topic or topics you want me to cover in the comments section below. And thanks for watching.